So, hello world! I'm here today with my best friend, Elizabeth. Hi! She's a chemical engineer, which is super awesome, amazing. Yeah, I, I hope someone will think that one day when I need to apply for a job, but we're doing an adventurous... Adventurous interview. Yeah. Elizabeth? Yeah? What is chemical engineering? Okay, chemical engineering, for me, probably 100 million people would disagree, but for me, it's the optimization of processes, materials. Yeah, processes is very broad, so that covers everything from the production of ethanol to the production of this super specific um, Gore-Tex fabrics. So, yeah, it's for me, it's something that, it's a kind of engineering that makes life easier by making everything better. My field is energy and secondarily environment. And I think that's cool because you can apply it to pre pretty much all industries needs to become more efficient regarding energy right now due to the situation we're in with greenhouse gases and such. So I think that's I think chemical engineering in the environment is a key role to develop new processes and develop new technologies to help us become more efficient. So that's why I like my field. But then there's you can choose to be, in chemical engineering, you can choose to really go into detail into optimizing the rotation of molecules, whatever, super detail. Or you can choose to optimize this big chemical plant and make it 1% more efficient, which can save billions of dollars for the industry. So I think that's cool with chemical Maybe those billions of dollars could be yours. <laughs> so I think that's cool. I think it's the scalability in the program. It's really cool. Right now you're doing your master's in chemical engineering yes. at ETH, right? Yes. But you're on exchange from KTH yes. in Sweden. Yes, in Sweden that translates to the Royal Institute of Technology because oh. the king of Sweden owns the soil where the school is standing. <laughs> what are you interested in? I'm interested in electrochemistry because I think my interest... Wait, what is electrochemistry? In detail, it's a lot of things, but in a broad way, you can say that it's reaction based on that you have an ion transfer or an electron transfer. I was like, what's electron in English? But then I realized it's the same as in Swedish. <laughs> what are you specifically working on? Yeah, the thing is, I moved away a bit from the uh, mobility section because currently I'm working with grid energy storage. So you know how we have wind power and sometimes it's a lot of wind and sometimes there's no wind. Yeah. We need to even that out so we can supply an even energy amount to the people. And, uh, so it's like when there's grid fluctuations, yeah. we, need, like we need a storage device. Okay. And what I'm working with is something called flow batteries. Where, okay. Yeah. And I'm not going to go into too deep what that is. No, go deep into what that is. <laughs> okay. Flow Can you yeah. explain it like super simply? What's well, really... Okay, you know a battery, you have this uh, limited compartment with a specific size, with a specific amount of energy. Yes. You buy an AA battery and it has this amount of energy and this amount of... Yeah, well, yeah, it's like this big, like, yeah. but yeah. A flow battery is that you put out, you take out the, some parts of the battery and have it outside the cell, and then you have the containers of the electrolyte which stores the energy outside the compartment, so you can scale the power and store energy independently. Oh. So if you have bigger tanks of electrolyte, you can store more energy, but you can still extract the same power. Why wouldn't you have a ginormous battery? instead of just storing it in an electrolyte. Yeah, the thing is why you want the, these flow cells is because they don't self-discharge as much as battery. If you leave a battery for a very long time, it will self-discharge, but a flow battery is uh, more durable when it's not operating. Yeah. yeah, and also the scalability is really an important factor. You're, you yeah. seem worried No, about the water. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. She's taking more fluid dynamics than me, so I'm like... <laughs> what advice did you give to anyone that's looking to pursue chemical engineering? Just go for it and find find something you like early. Like, you, because you're gonna have to go through all the organic chemistry and calculus and algebra. You're gonna go through all of those mandatory things. But just think about, find something that you like and go for it. Because the, the thought about like automotive in the, or like car industry have helped me go through those courses that I'm not really interested in because I'm thinking, well, when I'm finished, I'm gonna have a career at Tesla or Volvo or BMW. So just the goal have kept me motivated throughout it. Do, what you, do what's fun, 
and don't feel limited by anyone else. That's a really good advice. What's the stupidest thing you've ever done? Because a lot of people think that we're super smart, but I'm telling you, we're just regular girls. No, I, I, I can't come up with something specific that is the most stupid thing I've ever done. But something that I do a lot is to calculate something and think that, yeah, this is right. And then look at the answer sheets and be like, ah, there's probably an error in the answer sheet. <laughs> and then I realized I've converted, I don't know, Joe's to Watts in the wrong way. Something that is like super trivial, but I just make the same error over and over. That's the, that's probably the worst mistake because you're so stupid that you make them several times. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, if you support the project, please subscribe because um, I think it's a really cool thing that we're doing here, yeah. but it's really difficult for other people to see it. If unless... she's not motivated enough for YouTube, she might as well go and write on her thesis instead. Yeah, like what am I gonna do? Actually do my master's thesis? Not a chance. I'm kidding all of her. That's my supervisor. No, I think you guys should all subscribe because I think this is an awesome project. Thank you very much for being my interviewee. I think it was really cool. I it think electrochemistry fun. is really dope. Do you, AF. Do, do you wish that you chose uh, chemical engineering instead? Uh, I really hate chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I can be like, but because what we're doing is so closely related. You're taking flows and I take flows. But like, yeah, we both work with flows, but I do like turbulence yeah, and yeah. fluid dynamics that's on fire. Yeah. And I do more liquids. And you, but like, and, but you do more the reactions You do, involved. you do stuff. You do the same thing as me, but your thing is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah.